CD2. Unit 6. My sister works downtown. Page 36. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 1. Drive. 2. Walk. 3. Take the bus. 4. Take the subway. 5. Take the train. 6. Ride a bike. 7. Take a taxi. Take a cab. 8. Ride a motorcycle. Page 36, Exercise 2, Conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Page 37, Exercise 3, Word Power, Family. Part A, Pair Work. Complete the sentences about the Carter family. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Anne is Paul's wife. 2. Jason and Emily are their children. 3. Paul is Anne's husband. 4. Jason is Anne's son. 5. Emily is Paul's daughter. 6. Jason is Emily's brother. 7. Emily is Jason's sister. 8. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. Page 37, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus, Simple Present Statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Page 38, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Page 38, Exercise 5, Pronunciation. Third person singular S endings. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of the S endings. S equals S. Take takes, sleep, sleeps. 
S equals Z. Drive. Drives. Study. Studies. S equals is. Dance. Dances. Watch. Watches. Irregular. Do. Does. Have. Has. Page 38, Exercise 6, Conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Page 39, Exercise 7, Grammar Focus. Simple Present Questions. Do you get up early? No. I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at 1 o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Page 40, Exercise 8. Listening. Marcia's Weekly Routine. Listen to Marcia talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work, so I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening, and I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Page 41, Exercise 11, Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Justin Reed, City Tour Guide. What's your schedule like? I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. and then I have breakfast at 7. 
And after work? I finish at 6 p.m. and I have dinner downtown. Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Maya Chu, rock musician. What's your schedule like? Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner at 3 30 or 4. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Units 5 to 6 Progress Check. Page 42, Exercise 1, Listening. Around the World. It's 9 a.m. in Los Angeles. Vanessa is calling friends around the world. Listen to the conversations and complete the chart. 1. Hello? Hello, Sarah. This is Vanessa. I'm calling from Los Angeles. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? I'm good. So, how are things in New York? Oh, fine, thanks. What time is it there? It's about 12 o'clock. It's noon? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you having lunch now? No, no, it's okay. I'm just watching television. Two. Hello? Hello, Manuel. This is Vanessa in Los Angeles. How are you? I'm not sure, Vanessa. It's a little early for me. Really? What time is it in Mexico City? Well, it's a quarter after 11 in the morning here. 11 15 a.m.? Yeah. I'm having breakfast right now. You're having breakfast? Yeah. I always get up late on Saturdays. Three. Hello. Hello. Is this Bob? Yes, it is. Who's calling, please? This is Vanessa. Oh, hi, Vanessa. So, Bob, how are things in Sydney? Things are fine, but do you know it's 3 30 in the morning here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not sleeping. What are you doing? I'm reading a really great book. It's about this guy. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Page 44, Exercise 1, Snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Page 44, Exercise 2, Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building.
Page 45, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus Simple Present Short Answers Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Page 45, Exercise 4, Listening It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 3. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 4. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Page 46, Exercise 5, Word Power, Furniture, Part A, Listen and Practice. Armchairs, Stove, Curtains, Pictures, Bed, Table, Coffee Table, Microwave Oven, Refrigerator, Lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, TV, cupboards. Page 47, Exercise 6, Conversation. There aren't any chairs. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Page 47, Exercise 7, Grammar Focus. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. Page 48, Exercise 9, Pronunciation. Words with TH. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of th and th. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Page 48, Exercise 10, Listening. Furniture is expensive. Listen to Chris and Linda talk in a furniture store. What does Linda like? 
check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now from my parents. It's blue too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um, it's a little boring. Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh yes, they're perfect. Page forty-nine, exercise twelve, reading, unusual homes. Shusaku Arakawa and Madeline Ginz are famous designers. Their nine lofts near Tokyo, Japan, are very colorful. The apartments are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright colors. Inside, the walls are colorful too. The floors go up and down, and some rooms are round. The windows have strange shapes, so there are no curtains. There are small doors to the outside. Inside, there aren't any closets. The bookcase is in the middle of the living room. Dan Phillips likes to help people. He builds houses for artists and other low-income people in Huntsville, Texas, in the United States. One house, the Tree House, is in a large tree in the forest. It has windows on the floor. It also has a small kitchen. The bed is on the upstairs floor. There is a wood-burning stove from an old ship in the living room. Phillips teaches people how to build houses with recycled materials. Unit eight. What do you do? Page fifty, exercise one, word power, jobs, part A. Match the jobs with the pictures, then listen and practice. One. K. Police officer. Two. O. Taxi driver. Three. P. Vendor. Four. J. Plumber. Five. E. Electrician. Six. I. Painter. Seven. H. Office manager. Eight. A. Accountant. Nine. L. Receptionist. Ten. F. Front desk clerk. Eleven. B. Bellhop. Twelve. G. Nurse. Thirteen. D. Doctor. Fourteen. M. Salesperson. Fifteen. C. K. 
Cashier. 16. N. Security Guard. 51. Exercise 3. Conversation. He works in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Page 52, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Simple Present WH Questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Page 52, Exercise 5, Pronunciation. Reduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? Page 53, Exercise 6, Snapshot. What do you do? What's your job like? Listen and practice. I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy but boring. I don't like my job much. I'm a firefighter. It's exciting and very dangerous, but I like my job a lot. I'm a social worker. It's difficult and really stressful, but I love my job. I'm a florist. My job isn't very exciting, but it's pretty relaxing. I like my job okay. Page 53, Exercise 7, Conversation. Please be careful. Listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job, and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Page 53, Exercise 8, Listening. It's pretty boring. Listen to four people talk about their jobs. Complete the chart with the correct jobs and adjectives. 1. Where do you work now, Monica? I have a new job in a hospital. What do you do exactly? I'm a social worker. Great. What's it like? It's an exciting job. There's something new every day. 2. What do you do, Heysun? I work in an office. Really? What do you do exactly? I'm a manager. What's it like? I think that's not an easy job. No, it isn't. I have a difficult job, but I like it. 3. Where do you work, Kirk? At a store. Oh, are you a salesperson 
or a cashier? No, actually, I'm a security guard. Really? How do you like it? It's pretty boring. I don't like it very much. Four. Do you have a new job, Philip? I do. I work at Flowers and Things. Flowers and Things? So you're a florist? That's right. What's that like? Is it difficult? No, it's really easy. I like it okay. Page 54, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus Placement of Adjectives B plus adjective. A doctor's job is stressful. A window washer's job is dangerous. Adjective plus noun. A doctor has a stressful job. A window washer has a dangerous job. Page 55, Exercise 12. Reading. Job Profiles. Lots of Marco Mendez's friends walk on four legs. He makes these furry friends beautiful. Marco is a professional dog groomer. He likes his job a lot because it's never boring. Each dog has a different personality. What's his favorite kind of dog? He's not telling. Lila Martin goes to nice restaurants, eats cake, listens to bands, and gets paid for it. Lila is a wedding planner. She chooses the place, the food, and the music for people's weddings. It's stressful because everything needs to be perfect. Hal Garner has his dream job. He plays video games all day long. Hal is a game designer for a large video game company. He makes new games and tests them. It's always exciting, and he almost always wins. Junko Watanabe has a sweet life. She makes bread, cookies, and cakes in her neighborhood bakery. Junko really likes her job. Her salary isn't great, but the customers love her cakes and cookies, so she's happy. Unit 7 to 8, Progress Check. Page 57, Exercise 3, Listening. Where do they work? Listen to Linda, Kyle, and Wendy talk about their jobs. Check the correct answers. 1. Where do you work, Linda? In a doctor's office. What do you do there? I'm the receptionist. I answer the phone and welcome people. How do you like your job? I love it. 2. Hey, Kyle. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. You're right. I have a new job in a school. Really? Are you teaching? No. I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. Is it stressful? No, not really. 3. Hey, Wendy. Where do you work? In a hotel. Oh, that's interesting. What do you do there? I'm a bellhop. I help guests with their bags. That's a lot of work. Do you like your job? I do. I have a great manager. Unit 9. Do we need any eggs? Page 58, Exercise 1, Word Power, Foods, Part A, Food Guidelines. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat a little fat and oils. Listen and practice. Fruit. Apples, blueberries, lemons, oranges, bananas, kiwis.
Vegetables. Lettuce. Carrots. Broccoli. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Onions. Grains. Rice. Pasta. Crackers. Noodles. Bread. Cereal. Dairy. Cheese. Milk. Yogurt. Fats and oils. Butter. Cream. Oil. Meat and other proteins. Chicken. Fish. Eggs. Beef. Nuts. Beans. Page 59, Exercise 2, Conversation. How about some sandwiches? Listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some tomatoes, too. Okay. And let's buy some potato salad. All right. Everyone likes potato salad. Page 59, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Count and non count nouns. Some and any. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Non count nouns. Bread. Lettuce. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Page 60, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Sentence Stress. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice the stressed words. Do we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Do we need any lettuce? No, we don't need any lettuce. Page 60, Exercise 5, Snapshot. What do you have for breakfast? Listen. And practice. The United States. Cereal with milk. Fresh fruit. Orange juice. Coffee. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Page 61, Exercise 6, Conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things.
Page 61, Exercise 7, Grammar Focus, Adverbs of Frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Page 62, Exercise 8, Listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Sixty-three, Exercise 11, Reading, Eating for Good Luck. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like luck, and orange sounds like wealth in the Mandarin language. In Greece, and some other Mediterranean countries, people eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve, one grape for good luck in each month of the new year. At the end of the year in Sweden, people eat rice pudding with an almond inside. Everyone tries to find the almond for good luck in the new year. On New Year's Day in South Korea, people eat duck gook, soup with rice cakes, for strength and health in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollar bills. What sports do you play? Page 64, Exercise 1, Snapshot. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. Listen and practice. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, and play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Before Exercise 2, Conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? 
Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Simple Present WH Questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Exercise 4. Listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. 2. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. 3. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. 4. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Exercise 6. Conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Exercise 7. Grammar Focus. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can.
Exercise 8. Pronunciation. Can and can't. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. Nine. Listening. I can do that. Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Check the things they can do well. One. Craig. I don't really like sports, but I like to swim. I can swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well, but I can't sing. 2. Julie I can cook well. I love to cook for my friends and family. And I love to take photos on weekends with my camera. I think I can do that really well, too. 3. Rob Well, I'm an architect, so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a computer, so I can use computers really well, too. Oh, I can paint, too, but I don't paint for my job. It's just a hobby. Word Power Part A. Complete the word map with abilities and talents from the list. Then listen and check. Musical or artistic Play the violin. Sing English songs. Write poems. Technical or mechanical. Download a video. Fix a car. Upload photos. Athletic. Do yoga. Ride a horse. Snowboard. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Reading. An interview with Sean Johnson. Get a sneak peek inside the life of this U.S. gold medal winning Olympic gymnast. Where are you from? Des Moines, Iowa. I live there now. Who do you train with? A lot of people think I have a private coach, but I train with 13 other girls at the gym. How often do you practice? Most athletes train about 45 hours a week, but my parents want me to have a normal life. I train about 25 hours a week. I usually work out four hours a day during the week and five to six hours on Saturdays. I don't practice on Sundays. What do you eat to stay healthy? I have to watch my diet to be a healthy gymnast, but I don't get stressed about it. What are your favorite foods? Chicken and steak kebabs, peaches and cream, and corn on the cob. What do you do when you're not training? I love to ride horses and spend time with my friends. What do you do for good luck? I always travel with my blankets, but I don't believe in good luck charms. Who are your biggest fans? My mom, dad, and of course my coach. Page 71, Exercise 3, Listening. What do you play? Listen to Jenny ask Ben about sports. Check Ben's answers. 1. Do you play any sports, Ben? Yes, I do. What do you play? I play basketball. 2. So who do you play basketball with? Some friends from work. We have a team. 3. When does your team practice? 
We practice at 6.30 a.m. 6.30? That's early. 4. So, how often do you practice? Every day. Wow. 5. And when do you play? On the weekends. Please come and watch. Okay, that sounds great. 6. Where do you play? We always play at the park. Page 72, Exercise 1, Months and Dates. Part A, Listen and Practice the Months. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Part B. Complete the dates. Then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. Fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth. Twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Station Birthday Plans Listen and Practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Focus. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She's going to cook a special dinner. No, she's not. She's going to order takeout. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. They're going to stop by after dinner. No, they're not. They're going to be away all weekend. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe.
Evening Plans, Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Holidays in the United States. Listen and practice. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, the fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. How is Mona going to get to the dance? She's going to drive. She's not going to take the bus. Where are Tyler and his girlfriend going to eat? They're going to eat at Laguna's. They're not going to eat at Nick's Cafe. Ways to Celebrate Part A. Listen and Practice Decorate Eat special food Go to a parade. Give gifts. Watch fireworks. Play music. Go on a picnic. Wear special clothes. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid.
My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Kame Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out.